by to a Greenville native who won the Nobel Prize. Dr. Charles Towns died yesterday. He was 99, a graduate of Greenville High and Furman University. WYFF News Force Mayor Ruiz tonight with a man who says there's much more to the legacy of Charles Towns than his science. These are photographs that might end up in the pages of Charles Towns' biography. The man who's writing the book says there's a lot to learn about the mind and heart of the inventor of the laser. And in Towns' life, it starts as a kid. He's always interested in science, but he's also interested in the wider uh, issues and questions about creation, where we come from, where we're going. Biographer Michael Smith says Town's early work on the laser was likely for purposes of war, but the invention led to major advances in medicine, communications, and other industries. Most of the things that came out of the laser were well past the patent on the laser. And strangely enough, he got no, very little financial remuneration. As a world-class scientist, Towns rubbed shoulders with royalty and served on presidential panels. He received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1964, the same year Martin Luther King received his Nobel Prize for Peace. The interesting link was that Dr. Towns' sister had been a part of the Selma uh, march. And so there was some kind of familial connection, at least friendship, and so they were able to kind of build off of that and renew that while he was there. Smith says Towns was raised as a Southern Baptist in Greenville and later became a leader in the Congregationalist Church. And becomes uh, a part of the acceptance diversity movement. Smith says Towns' open mind also led to the prestigious Templeton Prize, which is awarded to individuals of science and religion. He's quite the secret, quite the surprise. My Ruiz, WYFF News 4.